very warm welcome to one and all. I am Rohini Bitwal with 8th standard science subject and the topic is living world and classification of microbes. Let us begin with the introduction. Students, can you recall who is the hierarchy for classification of living organisms? Who invented binomial system of nomenclature? And which levels of hierarchy are considered while writing the name in binomial nomenclature? Let us see need of classification. Students, last year we learned that all the living organisms on earth have adopted according to geographical regions for ingestion, defense, etc. While adapting many differences are observed in the organism of same species too. According to 2011 census, around 87 million species of living organisms are found on the earth including land and sea. To study such a vast number, it was essential to divide them into groups. So, groups and subgroups were created considering the similarities and differences among the living organisms. This process of dividing living organisms into groups and subgroups is called biological classifications. Let us see the history. Carl Linnaeus in 1735 divided living world in two kingdoms. Vegetabilia and Animalia. Haeckel in 1866 considered three kingdoms, Protista, Plants and Animals. In 1925, Chaton created two groups, Prokaryotes and Eukaryotes. And in 1938, Copland divided living organisms into four kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Plants and Animal. Now let us see Whitaker's five kingdom. Robert Harding Whittaker from 1920 to 1980 was an American ecologist. In 1969, he divided living organisms into five groups. For this classification, Whittaker considered following criteria. First, complexity of cell structure. Second, complexity of organisms. Third is mode of nutrition. Fourth is lifestyle. And last one is phylogenic relationship. And the five kingdoms are Monera, Protista, Fungi, Planty and Animalia. Let us see the first kingdom that is Monera. Activity. Take a small drop of curd or dilute milk on a clean glass slide. Dilute it with a little water. Carefully keep a cover slip. Observe it under high power of compound microscope. What did you see? Moving small rod-like microbes are lactobacilli bacteria. All types of bacteria and blue-green algae are included in the kingdom Monera. And the characteristics are all the organisms are unicellular, they may be autotrophic or heterotrophic and these are prokaryotic cells without distinct nucleus or cell organ. Let us move towards second that is protista. Activity. Prepare a temporary amount of one drop of pond water on a glass slide. Observe it under low power and high power of microscope. You will find some motile microbes with irregular shape. These are amoeba. Now we will move towards characteristics. Protista are single cell organisms with well defined nucleus and close in a nuclear membrane. They have pseudopodia or hair like cilia or vibe like flagella for locomotion and Autotrophs example are euglena, volvox contain chloroplast, heterotrophs examples are amoeba and paramoecium. Let us move towards kingdom number 3 that is fungi. Activity Take a moist piece of bread or bhakri and keep it in a container with a lid for 2-3 to three days. After 2-3 days a fine cotton thread like tuft is found growing on the surface of the bread. Prepare a temporary amount of few threads from this culture and observe it under the microscope. Let us see the characteristics. These are non-green eukaryotic heterotrophic organisms. Most of them are saprophs. The cell wall is made up of tough and complex sugar called chitin. Some fungi are thread-like and many nuclei are present in the cytoplasm. Example, Baker's yeast. 
let us move towards classification of microbes among the living organism microorganisms are largest in the number hence they are classified as follows microorganisms are divided into two prokaryotes and eukaryotes again prokaryotes into bacteria and eukaryotes into protista fungi and algae let us see the first bacteria it is unicellular independent parasitic organisms Sometimes many bacteria together form colonies. Bacterial cell is a prokaryotic cell wall but distinct nucleus. They reproduce by simple binary fission and in favorable condition bacteria grows vigorously and can double their number in 20 minutes. Let us move towards protozoa. Protozoans are found in soil, fresh water and sea water. Some are found in the body of other organisms and are pathogenic. These are unicellular organisms with eukaryotic cells. There is a great variation in cell structure, organs of locomotion and modes of nutrition among protozoans. Examples amoeba, paramecium. Let us move towards third that is fungi. These are found on decaying organic matter and dead bodies of plants and animals. These are eukaryotic organisms, some are unicellular and others are visible with nectaries. Saprophic absorb their food from decaying organic matter. They reproduce sexually and asexually by cell division or by budding. Example, Bacchus is Candida mushroom. Let us move towards algae. They are aquatic, eukaryotic, unicellular and autotrophic organisms. Photosynthesis is carried out with the help of chloroplast present in the cell. Examples are chlorella and chlamydominus. Very few species of algae are unicellular. Most of them are multicellular and visible with necked eyes. Let us move towards viruses. Generally, viruses are not considered as living organisms or they are said to be organisms at the age of living and non-living. They are studied under microbiology. Viruses are extremely minute, that is, they are 10 to 100 times smaller than bacteria and can be seen only with electron microscope. They are found in the form of independent particles. Virus is a long molecule of DNA or RNA covered by a protein coat. Viruses survive only living plants or animal cells and produce their own proteins with the help of host cell and create their numerous replica. Then they destroy the host cell and become free. These free viruses again infect new cells. Viruses cause many diseases to plants and animals. Do you know students? Polio virus, influenza virus, HIV AIDS virus etc. are seen in human. Picorona virus seen in cattle, tomato, wild virus, tobacco, mosaic virus seen in plants, whereas bacteria phase that is viruses attack bacteria seen in bacteria. Students, here we have finished this lesson. You know that you have to write difficult words five times, definitions three times and the exercise you have to solve.